Here we are for a special edition of the Backstage Pass. We're at Parliament House here with the Honourable uh, Prime Minister Tony Abbott. We took a little ride around, where was that ride this morning? Basically around the lake, uh, Simon. We started at Parliament House, uh, we went up past the War Memorial, we then went down uh, past the Arbor Arboretum, across Scrivener Dam, uh, back up Red Hill and then down to Parliament House. So it was about a 30k nice lovely way to start the day. Oh, it's one day here and the next day gone. Sometimes you bend, sometimes you stand, sometimes you turn. How's the pace, boys? It's pretty solid, eh? No, no, it's pretty solid. Simon looks like he's puffing there, mate. He always puff when he grins. Yeah, we were just uh, following the um, ride with our Prime Minister and I think uh, Tony's doing some strength endurance efforts, uh, some low gear stuff up by Red Hill which is his favourite hunting ground. He told us this morning that's where he does all his riding around Canberra and the little efforts so he's going to show Gero and the boys how it's done. And I noticed you shot off up Red Hill there, is that uh, some of the usual training roads? My standard ride in Canberra is four times up and down Red Hill. I normally uh, am there about uh, uh, 5.30 most mornings and uh, so uh, the last uh, 50 metres or so of Red Hill, that's when I really try to put it in. That's when you come to your yeah, own. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. No, it was great. Uh, I think we all enjoyed the ride, so yeah. thanks very much for having us here and, and taking us out on some of your roads this and, morning. And, and Simon, thank you for everything you're doing for Australian and world cycling. Yes, uh, you are a, a great champion and we're looking forward to even better things uh, from you in the coming years. Thank you very much. Good on you. It's quite actually more solid than, uh, than I expected, so... Um, uh, yeah, Tony Abbott actually gave it to us a little bit on the climb and out sprinted Caleb. So, if, if you were to Prime Minister, what sort of initiatives would you bring in? So, I was thinking maybe if I was Prime Minister, I could we could try out the Spanish siestas. So, you know, just everyone have a bit of lunch, have a bit of vino, bin it for two, three hours after lunch, um, and then go back to work at 4.30 and work till 8 and then pretty much, yeah carry on the party from there and just see how we go, see how I, see how it would end up. I think it'd be quite good. Six month trial. Might be nice and might, the stress levels of everyone might go down a little bit. Uh, if I was Prime Minister I'd definitely cap uh, the price of coffee in Australia and I'd probably give a discount if you showed up to any coffee shop in Lycra that uh, you get a dollar off, I reckon. Pretty good. I really do need to congratulate Orica Green Edge on an outstanding few years. Uh, as Australia's foremost professional cycling team. 100 wins in three years, 35 wins this season. You are the third most winning team in the world. Uh, you finished fifth in team rankings, third on individual rankings, and uh, Simon Gerrans, well, Simon, uh, you're on the road to being number one, and that's what we want. We want to see an Australian as the world's number one cyclist. I want to thank uh, Jerry Ryan for everything he has done uh, for cycling. Uh, we would not have a professional cycling team uh, but for Jerry. Uh, cycling in this country as a, a world-class sport simply would not exist uh, but for the, uh, the time, the funds and the passion that you have put into this marvellous sport. You know, cycling has been a passion of mine. Uh, it's, it's all about the people. But I couldn't have gone on with this team without the support of Orica. A big day today for the team. We went for a ride with the Prime Minister. A little one before, before work today. But the big announcement today is Orica have uh, announced they're going to renew their sponsorship till the end of 2016. So it's great news for the team uh, that we can keep building on uh, achieving the goals that we're going to set for the, for the future. Gavin, uh, thank you uh, to Orica and the belief uh, in the team. It's been a wonderful uh, journey. Yeah. Uh, coming on for the next two years will not only enable us to uh, continue, but to continue to develop and put in some programs we wanted to uh, in the first three years. So thank you again. Uh, it's a pleasure. Look, it's a fantastic team and our partnership is uh, second to none. You know, the riders, the, the generosity of their time in working with our local communities and, and uh, with our employees, it's absolutely fantastic. They spend time with our customers. We love the team. We love seeing the Orica Green Edge jersey go across the line first, which it did so many times this year, 35 wins this year. 
So we're absolutely delighted to continue the association with the team and thank you for your support and, uh, and your friendship. It's, uh, it's absolutely something that we treasure. Well, we, we're proud of the association and proud to wear Oregon. Yeah. All right, well, that's a wrap for Backstage Passes for 2014 and uh, what a year it's been. Uh, Matty, from a rider's perspective, uh, how's the year been for you boys? Oh, mate, my first year with the team and, and what a great year. We've, uh, we've performed on, on the big stage. A bit of a shame at the tour, but I'm sure we'll be back there uh, next year and uh, we'll be gunning for that yellow jersey again. But the fans were great. Um, we've won all over the world this year and uh, it's been a fabulous year and a, and a great way to start with the team. Yeah, and we've had support all over the world as well, which makes a big difference to our campaign. And look, that's the wrap for the backstage passes for this year, but we'll be back very, very soon for 2015 at the Bakery. It's uh, race number one, targets number one for us for Oracle Green Edge for 2015. Stay tuned, see you soon. And Jonesy will be fit.